You know, as, as I sit here and I listen to all this conversation about all the threats we face and all the inadequacies uh, against those threats, it's great to hear all this talk of interceptors and directed energy systems. Um, I can't help but think maybe the easiest way to defend against all these missiles and drones would be to blow them up on the ground before they ever get off in warehouses or their assembly lines. Um, and I know you all have, in your, I know none of you are in charge of these decisions, you all have in your title missile defense and air defense and space defense and all the rest, but I think under President Biden, the Department of Defense may take its name a, li a bit too literally. Uh, if you look at what's happening in Yemen, for instance, all we're doing is shooting down missiles and drones that are in the air coming at our sailors or on the launch pad ready to launch. We're not actually trying to destroy all of their capabilities. I understand there are reasons for that, um, that we can't necessarily find and fix them all right now, but that's a problem in its own right. So be much better to get on offense as a good defense rather than have our sailors as sitting ducks like so many of our troops around the region are sitting ducks. Speaking of sit sitting ducks, uh, General Ganey, uh, do you believe that the Army is providing adequate authority uh, in a timely manner to units to defend against drone attacks or surveillance? Senator, thank you uh, for that question. In CENTCOM AOR, yes. Uh, the, the, great work Worldwide, that, the great work that has been done inside of CENTCOM has really set the stage to have globally relook the way we push authorities down. But that's obviously centered, as you know, because it's a conflict area and, and you have to, and missiles are being shot at our soldiers, so they have to have that authority delegated down. Authorities in CONUS are a little bit more challenging. And- uh, uh, What about in PACOM? That's, that's within the area air defense commander's uh, purview on how he delegates his authorities down to the uh, actual operator to be able to uh, shoot his capability, and he retains that authority based off of the risk analysis that he's doing. He has the ability to to pass that authority all the way down to the operator level, but he chooses to withhold it now, which is in his authority. What about in Guam? Well, same thing. Because of the Air Air Defense Commander uh, inside of uh, Indo-PACOM is the uh, PACAF commander. He also decides the uh, authorities that are delegated to Guam and he has the authority to delegate him down further if he chooses to. It's my understanding that we've got a, quite, a, quite a few drones flying over our installations on Guam, and there's been no genuine response. Is that the case? I'm not tracking no genuine response. It may be a challenge with where the capability is located on Guam because uh, most of the counter-U.S. capability is localized, and I'm, I'm not sure of the situation of how it's spread across. Who would have the authority to engage drones over Guam? It would be the local commander. Uh, we delegate the authority uh, for drones to the local commander on that site just because of the time and space you have to be able to delegate it to. So any discussions on delegation of authorities down even further to the operator would reside on Guam. Okay. Well, we're on the topic of Guam, General Ganey, and maybe General Collins as well, if you want to chime in. Um, what's the status of the environmental impact statements for the 20 Guam defense systems uh, sites? As far as the impact statement, I'll pass that to the Missile Defense Agency who's doing the impact statements. Yes, sir, we're, we're still in the middle of the environmental impact uh, uh, survey uh, process. Uh, we are, our very first set of MILCON, uh, military construction money, is in the fiscal year 2025. Uh, and so right now that, in, uh, that EIS schedule is on critical path, uh, but we are on track uh, to, uh, to be able to award those MILCON contracts on schedule uh, at the beginning of 2025. You said you're uh, in process. When did that process begin? Uh, well before me, probably a, a, over a year and a half, uh, two years ago is when the process starts. So 18 to 24 months ago, and it won't be finished for another seven months at least? Sir. Sure. That's bad for like a pipeline or a road, but that seems especially bad for air defense systems on one of our most critical forward deployed bases in PACOM. That's all. Bad.